angels how are we doing welcome once again to my channel this is evangel i'm a nigerian based here in kingdom of saudi arabia i'm working here i'm living here and i'm working here <laughs> please if this is your new if this is your first time of coming across this channel thank you so much and do well to subscribe and if you have been coming and going thank you so much if you have subscribed for a long time or you subscribed last week or yesterday thank you so so much actually i'm just coming in now i am in jeddah guys i'm in jeddah and i stepped out a few minutes ago i just came in now for the first time i did not wear a baya or cover my hair oh my god it feels so so relieving let me show you guys what i'm wearing this is like a blazer so this is what i'm wearing guys this is what i wore out this is we are in Jeddah actually so this is what I wore out let me see if you I can show you yeah that's my trainers and inside inside this this is a jumpsuit with this blazer yes or jackets so this is how I went out a few minutes ago and I'm back and my hair you can see I have a new look <laughs> my hair was by Rose she stays very close to me and she knows how to make it so i contacted her please come and make my hair just for a token i mean she is very patient and well mannered i don't know what else to say so i have a new look i have a new look so i actually want to i mean i have a question from somebody or a suggestion from somebody who said i should make a video on maternity leave and child care here in the kingdom of saudi arabia so this is another saudi series i'm going to be adding to the list of the ones i made before so if you're still in the childbearing age and you're planning to relocate to saudi this video is for you if you have a young one and you're planning to come here to work or maybe for any other thing but to live here this video is for you if you're a doctor you're not even married you're planning to marry this video is for you and this video is for you if you can share it to some other persons who might want it or who might be looking for such information so without further ado i have told you to subscribe that is very very important and please when you subscribe turn on the bell sign so that each time i upload a video you will get notified and please do not forget to like a lot of people watch and then they forget to like do not forget to like if you can share this video share it it is very important so that anybody coming here will plan themselves very well so the question is she said oh no it's not even a question she said loretta that's her name she said please take like take care of maternity leave and child care in ksa thank you so much loretta so this is your request and i'm trying to do it not it shouldn't be a long video so one thing is this i gave birth to two of my kids here in saudi arabia and i am going to shock you that i never got official in quotes official maternity leave for the two times i gave birth while living and working here the very first time I gave birth, that was in 2015, I gave birth to JJ here and we just came to Saudi Arabia at that time, we just relocated I gave birth to JJ, I did not even get any maternity leave, not even for one day but I got sick leave for about two weeks so you can imagine you coming to a new country, giving birth and then, started, and then you start to work again after two weeks it was horrible for me, it was terrible, it was everything negative for me in fact, it was part of the downside I told you I experienced when I came here newly. Now, the reason I did not get any sick leave is not because I did not request for it. And it's not because there is no provision for, for sorry, not sick leave. Uh, the reason I did not get a maternity leave after giving birth to my baby is not because I did not apply for it or I did not make inquiries. And it's not because there is no provision for maternity leave. There, there is a provision for maternity leave, but a clause follows it. Now, another person's case was different from mine. I have a friend who gave birth here, and she got, um, uh, she got, I think, two months thereabouts, or 45 days or 35, 30, uh, 35 days of, of maternity leave. That is, she gave birth when I gave birth to my third baby. Still, I did not get maternity leave. Not that I did not apply for it, not that I did not ask for it, and not any fault of mine. I was given one month sick leave, and the one month sick leave wasn't 
as in something straightforward i was given two weeks sick leave and after two weeks i wasn't fully okay to start working again and then i applied for another two weeks um uh, sick leave for me to be able to recover fully before i start working again so that was how i got that four weeks but for my second baby who is jj I did not get up to one month. I got only two weeks. So you can imagine yourself. Just imagine that you get birth through cesarean section. After two weeks, you are resuming. So it was that terrible. But like I said, some other person got either one and a half months or two months of maternity leave. But she was working in the hospital setting. I was working. I am working in a primary care setting. So these are two rules. I mean, extreme rules. Those in the hospital might get something, while those in the primary care center might not get the same thing. They we are working for the same Ministry of Health. So, the clause I told you in the in the in the contract you are going to be signing, there is a provision for maternity leave. Now, when you are trying to fill the, the, the other papers that will be attached to that contract, especially when you are posted to your uh, workplace and they give you some papers to sign, part of this paper, one of them they're all in arabic so one of them would will ask you to sign if you are a female that even when you get pregnant your annual vacation becomes your maternity leave either the time you are filling your forms in your workplace or the time you are trying to renew your contract that paper is part of the things you sign that even when you get pregnant and you give birth that your annual vacation becomes your maternity leave so you will sign this paper without even knowing, especially for those working in the primary care center. I'm using myself as an example. This is my personal experience. I don't know if it is specific to my own region, if it is specific to my own center, if it is specific to my own state. I cannot say. But what I'm trying to tell you is it's one of the criteria for you to be able to renew your contract. So they will give you these forms, as in so many other forms, one of them uh, is even if any native person, a citizen wants your job, you'll be relieved of your duty even without notice. So one of them is also like that. But the one we are talking about today is the maternity leave. Like I said, my friend who works in the hospital got maternity leave. While I was work I'm working in the primary care centers, I did not get any maternity leave. And when I asked why, they brought up that paper to me and showed me that you sign this during your contract renewal, that your mater your annual vacation becomes your maternity leave should in case you give birth while in service. So that is it. So now get you getting a maternity leave is dependent on one. If you are maybe working in the hospital, the region where you're working, the center where you're working, and probably some other things, I don't know. But what I just told you now is my personal experience. And not just me, another person has also experienced that she did not get a maternity leave. She had to take her annual vacation during her uh, postpartum period just to make up so for her to be able to recover very well before starting uh, work. Now you talked about child care in KSA, that's the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Child care is not the government's issue. <laughs> it's not the government's uh, responsibility. It is your responsibility because most regions here, I would say most regions, I have my reason for saying most regions, you do not really have daycares. You do not really have daycare facilities in most regions, especially my own place. I have not come across anything like daycare facility you might have schools that may attach daycare to their school as of, of recent they started attaching daycare to their school and when we came here there was nothing like that and a child will must be about five to six years before you even enroll him or her in school but these days they have preschool and i think some some schools actually attach daycare to their school so about child care, by the time you, you must have given birth, by the time you are delivered, your child care is a personal responsibility. I mean, day-to-day -day caring of your baby is a personal responsibility. And secondly, maybe you want vaccinations and all of that all free. You can vaccinate your child anywhere you want, any kind of vaccination that is due and it's 100% free. Now, if your baby is ill or sick for any reason, you as as a, a government worker, you have that insurance. 
so they take care of that child but for those working with the private sector i think the private company pays part of the insurance why they pay part of it i don't know how it works but i know the private company pays part of the insurance and why they pay part of the bill not insurance yeah so they don't have total coverage i think so they don't have total coverage so for any other thing you might need maybe schools and all that i think i have made a video about schools here in saudi arabia if you don't mind sending your child to the arabic schools which are the public schools that are free 100 percent free then you don't have any issue but if that is not your ideology then that is where you will have some issues especially if you are not posted to a big city you are not posted to a place like Jeddah, Damam, Koba, Riyadh, uh, Abha, Al-Baha, all those places that you are sure you will get international schools, the American, the British, the Australian international schools. If you are not posted to such cities, then you will have to homeschool your child. Yes, you have to homeschool your child unless you want to enroll them in the Arabic school. Then I don't know any other thing about child care that you want to hear, but this is it just in a nutshell So like I said just to recap You might get uh, Maternity leave depending on where you're working and how you go about it Secondly, you might be asked to use your annual vacation as your maternity leave for early child care, when it, as regards to immunization, to hospital visits and all that, it is free, 100% free. All, all you need to do is just present your child when he or she is due for his vaccinations. For school, I made a video about school, so you have to watch the video and know if there are schools around you. I don't know where you're posted, so if you're coming here, but if not, you can ask for other alternatives. Like for me, I mean, if you're if you're if you have been my subscriber for for a, for a long time now, you will know how I do it. My kids are in Nigeria with my family, with my husband. While I'm here, they come here on vacations. While I travel to Nigeria on vacation. So if you have been watching me up until now, thank you so much. Do well to subscribe. I know this topic is not a very versatile one. It is just uh, limited to a particular set of people. But you never can tell you might have somebody who needs the information in it please do well to share and subscribe like comment let me get to hear what you have to say at this time i will see you in my nest take care of yourself and bye